very very handsome watch hi guys this is jack today we'll be reviewing something very special to me and it's my holy grail let's dive right into it the rolex yellow gold paul newman daytona in my past few episodes, I've reviewed a white gold Daytona. <laughs> ba bling, ba bling, cha ching, cha ching. So, is there any difference between the white gold and the yellow gold? Mechanism wise, no. They are all running at caliber 4130. But there's one difference the loudness. For the white gold one, it's subtle. This is right in your face. You are the modern man. You are Harvey Specter. It will make you feel like him. The confidence, man off the chart. What I like about this, there's an integration of not only precious metal which is the yellow gold, but ceramic bezel as well. With that contrast, you can actually tell that there's four tones. The red essence, the red second hands, the champagne, sub dial in colour, and what Rolex call this, the intense black. This is probably the only model that it calls intense black and the intensity, it's off the chart. It's such a handsome watch. Man, you gotta hold it in your hand. It's not just how it looks, but the overall package with the heft, with the two rubber strap dangling, with another piece of yellow gold for your deployant. I think it's, it's very perfect to me. This is my holy grail. Daytona is always associated with racing cars. So you guys are in luck because I'm gonna give you a demonstration on how this chronograph really works. Right, let me shift this here, bring this down, and welcome my guest superstar, DeLorean. You're gonna see some serious shit. If you guys don't know what is this, you're too young for this. First, let me unscrew the chrono pusher. It's actually a zero right now. So basically, the distance is one mile. So when the car is moving, you press start. The red second hand is moving right now. Then, you know, when the car is traveling, moving, moving, you know. BAM! It crosses the one mile mark. You stop. Look at that red second hand, what does it say? If it's pointing at 300, it means that it is traveling at 300 km per hour. There you go. Now you know how does this chronograph with the bezel works. So this is for the measurements of speed for a car. Many celebrities wear Rolex Daytona in various versions as well. Rainbow Daytona, the Ever Rose Gold Daytona, the Platinum, the Ice Daytona. Doesn't matter, it's still a Rolex Daytona. From a past four digit reference till now, there's only one word to describe the Rolex Daytona and that is handsome. Other watch that is as handsome as this. Everyone wants a Daytona. But you know, you gotta be a VVIP in order to even put your name for an allocation of the Rolex Daytona. So what does that mean? For a authorized dealer that carry multi brands, you gotta support the house brand, you gotta support brand A, B, C, D, E, then you are entitled to even put your name. On average, people wait about a year or even two years to even get one. And I'm not even talking about the stainless steel one because that is even harder. The retail is at 39,000, close to 40,000 Sing dollars. Will you be able to get it? If I have the money, uh, will I purchase so many watches to really get my name on the list for an allocation? There's no confirmation, there's no assurance. I don't think I will. So my opinion on this Rolex Daytona, I personally love it, but I have one big problem. Okay, Rolex Daytona comes with two variations. One with the bracelet, one with the rubber strap, which they call it the Oyster Flex. It's unlike the bracelet version whereby you can size. If you take a look inside, there's no way you can size it. So, how does it even work? Basically, Rolex has classified its straps, these two parts right down here, with alphabet. So you need to let Rolex know what is the uh, size of yours in terms of the alphabetical order and you will be able to purchase your exact measurements. So I repeat, there's no way you can size this. How much does like a set of rubber strap cost? The rubber strap is $400, not a set, but just for one side. Say what? That means for both sides, it costs $800. Say what? Rolex, you have done it again. Of course, you can retain one side and you know, get a very short version on the other side. But you know, will your claps be in the middle? 
So in conclusion, after praising this handsome watch that I have here, which is my holy grail, tell me what do you think about the watch? Would you pay an additional of $16,000 premium for this watch? After purchasing this, would you be willing to pay $800 for a rubber strap? Stay tuned for our next video because I'm doing something crazy. Remember I mentioned $800? And if you like the video that we have done today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Alright, God bless. See you next time.